Hi, we're going to take just a minute to go over the Android app for the Pizza Party. And this is the app that you have in your Zybook. Let's take a look at the files that are in the app. First off, we have the main activity, um, and that is tied to the screen that goes along with it, activitymain.xml. If we look at the activity main or the main activity file, uh, we'll see that we've got our import statements for all of the objects that we're going to be using. Uh, those are the uh, code libraries that we need in order to be able to reference some of the objects in our Java program. And then um, as we start um, the activity, right at the top, we have a definition for a constant variable, slices for pizza, eight. And then we have three variables that are declared so that we can reference um, the objects that are on the XML um, code. And what we have here, uh, this is actually the screen that the users see. Uh, this is the XML code. We've got the text view that you can take a look at. And we've got design view. And let's point out a few of these things. We've got a text view uh, that shows number of people, uh, how hungry, and then total pizzas. Out of these, the total pizzas, which is answer text view, is going to have the number of pizzas as the result. Um, we're going to be calculating, um, depending on number of people and how hungry they are, how many pizzas we should order. And then we've got um, an edit text box where we can, when this app is running, we can enter the number of people that are involved. And then this is a radio button group. Um, and we've got light, medium, or ravenous. Um, when the app is running, people can select one of those. Uh, once they select one of those, when you click on the Calc button, uh, this will automatically go to the Calculate Click event on Main Job. This is handled a little bit differently than the um, Healthy Recipes app that we did. And so if we look at Main Activity, um, these three variables are used to reference, as we can see here, um, the names of the objects uh, that we're going to meet, need to be working with um, in our code, and that is the number in attendance, that's the attend edit text, um, the answer text view where we're going to be putting in the number of pizzas that are ordered, and then the radio group so we know whether they are have light, medium, or ravenous hunger. The button is clicked. Here's the calc event that's referenced in the button. Um, we have to declare a string so that we can pull in the number of attended that comes in as a string. Uh, we change that to an integer with the integer.parse integer text. So now we have the number of attended from the text box. Uh, we have slices per person as zero because we're going to be calculating that based on whether they had light, medium, or ravenous hunger. Um, if the light radio button is checked, they have two slices per person. If it's medium, they have three. And if it's ravenous, they have four. And then what we're going to do is calculate the total number of pizzas, taking the number in attendance times the slices per person divided by the slices per pizza. And that calculates the total pizzas. And that uh, what we do is we then set that equal to the text view. We put in total pizzas plus um, the total uh, number of pizzas that we just calculated. All right, there's good comments in this code. And you can head on over to the assignments to uh, see what I'm going to ask you to do. Uh, for those of you working with the code, I'm going to ask you to add in another radio button for leftovers desired, and you'll be adding one pizza to whatever's calculated so you can take a pizza home. Um, you can see all the instructions in the code. Let's go ahead and run this and see what it looks like running. It'll come up here in just a second. Here we go. We'll go ahead and close that. And again, it takes just a minute. It's actually going in the emulator. Um, we'll put number of people six. How hungry? Let's say they have light hunger. We're going to click on calculate and we can see the number of pizzas are two. If we change that to ravenous and calculate, it changes to three. Uh, so we can see that our um, actual algorithm is working. 
and then we're going to add uh, for those of you that have the code we're going to add a another radio button here in this radio group that says leftovers desired uh, and so what that's going to do is um, depending on whether it's light medium or ravenous hunger um, it's going to automatically um, add on an extra pizza so how are we going to do that uh, we're going to have to take a look and should we use a radio button or should we use something like a checkbox uh, maybe a checkbox would be uh, better to use uh, because if we use a radio button and we just say leftovers desired how do you know if they're light medium or ravenous um, hunger we'd have to set some defaults there so head on over to the assignment you'll see what we're going to do at least for starters for that all right thanks